Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video I'll be opening and sending the LEGO City set 60323, which is the uh, stunt plane. This is the box, that's the front, that's the back. Um, if you see that sticker, you can probably guess where I brought it from. Um, it begins with B and ends in M. This set um, originally came out um, as a nine pound at the nine pound price point at the nine pound price point. If I'll, I'll get the words out in a minute, and now it come and I picked it up um, when it was going end of line, and and I did and I did and I paid less than half price for it. So I'm quite happy with that. So just open it up. It looks a nice, nice, quite simple little build. It's not a four plus, which is um, which, which which they could have done with a set like this. So. But no stickers though, which is good. So we've got two bags and one instruction manual. We'll open up the first bag. I can tell you that um, I paid probably um, less than the price of a Happy Meal for this for this um, set, so which is some indication. It's just it's, it's just one of the bargains you can pick up when you're when, when you're looking around. So we so we start off by building the pilot of the plane. I think the pilot does have a cool visor as well. So. We have some of the um, dark blue purpley legs. We have a pilot who's only got one face, but he has like the um, beard, beard and sideburns. No tash though, so. And he has his helmet, and he has a really nice pilot's visor. Maybe lost a wheel there. Try and show you this, because what they've done, they've instead of making it flat, as you can see, that they, um, they have put like a, um, a bit where the uh, where the nose uh, will go over your nose. The fact that they are made they got people don't have noses is a mute point, but it still looks good, and it goes over anyway. Like, but that is one of the cool one of the cool advisors that, that they do, and it's quite a nice, cool new part. This is the figure. He's got his like jumpsuit on. It's very basic, um, the legs are basic, but the body, the body is quite good. It's quite a nice little figure as well. The visor makes it and the helmet, so. Put him over there. The pilot walks you through the instruction on this one. That seems to be a thing Lego seem to be doing nowadays. We'll start off by building the plane, which is possibly called the Kingfisher. Um, I'm not an expert on birds, but back in the day I used, um, I believe that would be a kingfisher, so I'm we'll, we'll, we'll going to christen the plane kingfisher. So we start off with one of these pieces here. These pieces are quite often used in boats and planes. So, and now we have a black or blue two by two flat and a, I just want to see what color this piece really is before I, before I say. A cream two by two flat with a stud in the middle. Those bits go in there like so. I have a red um, triangular piece. That goes in there like on there like so. And there's a white um, lip, uh, um, gear stick piece. Or aerial can be an aerial as well, so they, they, those bits go on there like so. Now we have a grey eight by two base plate and a a four four by four um, piece like this which makes the middle of the fuselage. 
that bit goes on there like so and then the and then the front bit we done we did earlier goes on there as well so it looks like that so it still could be a boat or a plane at this point so we have a have another triangular black piece like so this goes on the other end and then we have two red four by four by one base plates these go on here to reinforce the front of the plane like so so it all stays together now we put the wings on which are these pieces here these are these would be 10 by um, 10 by 4 pieces but they have um, but they have gone it they've got in, in in a little bit can't remember the exact mathematical name for the shape so if anyone does know please leave it in the comments and I'll try to give you a mention and now we have one of these pieces here which is quite cool I do quite like that I don't, don't, don't believe I've seen one of those before that goes on the front here to make the front of the plane it's really cool have another one of these red triangular piece pieces like so that goes on there and you have a green three three by two lego brick normal one nice to see one of the, nice to see lego using the original bricks Then we have a cream 3x2 um, roofing piece. Now we have a black 2x1 double cheese piece with a printed control panel on it. Try and show you that quickly. That's a nice, that's a nice brick. For the price I paid for the set, um, I think I just think I've just got my money's worth. So, just about anyway. But now we have two of the um, of these blue four by four by one right angled pieces. These go on the side and a blue 4x2 brick goes behind them like so now we have a have one of these P bricks here which I do, I do quite like these they basically they have moulded a cup, um, two or three bricks together into one brick, which is quite cool. They're quite handy if you're making boats or planes. So, and then you have a cream two by one with a groove piece on it, which is one of these. That goes on there like so. Now we make the, uh, the, the jet engine. So that starts off as a gray two by one base plate. A, a Lego Technic two by, two by one brick and a, and a two by one base plate, which have been, um, put together to make one brick. There is some really nice bricks in this set, it has to be said. And we know we have a green two by one flat vent piece, a Technic yellow connector round, a Technic Lego round connector stud, a a black wheel piece, 
That goes on the back there, connected on the Technic connector piece. And you have a flame that comes for the jet. That goes on the back there, and that bit moves, which is quite cool. And that goes on the back here. That fits just right on there. So that's the, um, that's the jet engine for the stunt plane. Next we got to make the, uh, the tail fins. So they start off life as um, two of the um, two by one angle bricks with a um, four, uh, four by one angle, angle bit on the top. So that's your bottom half of your angle bit and this is the top half. So these bits go click in here and then move like so. These bits go on the back. Like so. Then we have two blue, light blue three by two base plates which go on here and they go on there like that and then you have a grey two by one base plate and a black two um, and a black two um, a black one square stuff with with a with a one piece with a hook on it. So it's technically a two by one with a with a hook instead of a stud. That bit goes on there like so. It's got this bloke as a helmet. I thought he's a hairpiece for a minute. And we have a have a, have another one of these black two by one with the um, female connector hook on it. Then we have another blue two by two flat. That goes on there like that. Then we have two blue two by one cheese pieces. two of the green transparent cheese pieces to go in front of them. They go on like that. Now you put the cockpit on, that's a, that's a, nice, that's a nice piece of Lego. Def, um, definitely adds to the value of the set. So now we have a now we have a red and a green uh, dot. The red one goes on on this side, and the green one. Let's see if I can do this without being colour blind. That's correct. That's right. That goes on like that. So if you mirror that, you'll be able to get that right. It's not end of the world if you don't. So now we now we flip the plane over to put the to put the landing gear on, and you've got a two by four um, uh, base plate with two Technic grey connector studs on it. These go on at the back, and then we have a, a two, two by two flat grey wheel axle piece. Now we have the, this is the front wheel, 
that goes on here. Then we have two of the normal wheels go for landing gear. Doesn't matter which way they go round, because they're the same. They go on like that. Then we push these bits down, which I've already done. And then we put the tail fins on with the kingfishers on there. I'm glad they're not stickers, glad they're printed. And here we have our stunt jet. It does, it does look quite good. It does have the potential to, for modification as well. Um, you can make it make, make a bigger version, or you, there's lots of things you can do. You can make it into a fighter as well if you wanted to as well. The wheels do come off, so when it's flying, you can actually take the, if you really want to take the wheels off and, and fly it like that. So we'll put our pilot in here. That's a nice size cockpit on here, so 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 it doesn't so you haven't got haven't got to tip them all the way back. It, 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 is actually, it is a really nice, it's a really nice plane design. You can you can move the fins around if you really want, but as a stunt plane, it does look better like that. You can have them up like that if you really want. And if you do take the wheels off the bottom, the landing gear off the bottom, it does look even cooler. As you can see, it flies around, loops the loop, loopy loops the loop, and off comes back, barrel roll, the jet goes, and then finds its landing gear, and comes into land. Then it turns around, opens the cockpit up, and the crowd, and, and he feels the roar of the crowd. This is, this is a really nice little build, it's good value for money. Um, at the nine pound price point, I probably wouldn't have picked it up because I'm not a big Lego City fan. But back in the day, I probably would have done. Um, I haven't matured. I think my my Lego tastes haven't matured since um, since then. So overall, overall, it's a good little set. And for what I paid for it, I'm I'm definitely not disappointed. And if you get a chance to pick it up, um, do pick it up because it's a good set. It's got some good bricks in it as well. The figure's good. It's got a little bit of movement um, with the cockpit and the jet. Uh, it's not, it's not, it hasn't got lots of movement, but it does, it does look good. It, it does, it, it does look good for it. It's, it's good value for money. Well done, Lego. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any comments on this video, do feel free to uh, um, leave them at the end of the video, and I'll try to mention all my upcoming videos. I'd, uh, I'd like to thank everyone who has um, uh, who has who, who has liked and subscribed in the last couple of weeks to my videos. Thank you very much. Th thank you very much for your support, and I hope it continues. Stay safe, keep building, and hope and hope to see you in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.